Welcome back. So we're here with Maryland's newest congressman, Representative Glenn Ivey from the 4th District. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And I want to start with a topic that right now is impacting more than 139,000 children in your district. That was the end to the expanded child tax credit. So right now, a lot of working class, middle class, poor families are not going to get monthly payments anymore. And families are saying this was the biggest failure for the Democratic Party on not seeing it through. As newly elected, what are you going to do now in hopes to bring it back. Yeah, it was disappointing that it didn't get through in the last Congress. It was an extremely productive Congress. A lot of work uh, did get accomplished, but that one didn't make it through and, you know, didn't have much Republican support for that one. So hopefully that'll turn around. But as people know, Republicans now control the House of Representatives, so we don't have Democratic leadership to bring it to the floor and move it forward. We'll have to count on Republicans to do it in the House, but still have control of the Senate and the White House, and hopefully we can get a push from there and get it done this this Congress. And another topic that I want to talk about is just there's been a devastating shortage of affordable housing in Prince George's County. People have been moving out west. It's still so expensive. I understand that County Executive Angela also Brooks is working on getting state funding for it. Will you also make it a priority at the federal level as well? Yeah, I think so. I think it's important to have more affordable housing, not just in Prince George's County, but frankly in the region. I know there are efforts to do it in Montgomery and, and D.C. and Fairfax counties as well. Uh, but I think we have to make a, a concerted push at the regional level to get more of that. And I also think we have to get more housing that helps people who are sometimes working class and low income as well. Sometimes the, the definition of affordable housing in Washington, D.C., I think is a family of four around $85,000. There's a lot of people who make less than that. They need housing, too, and we need to make sure we're providing it for them as well. And also, you were a state's attorney for Prince George's County. You've had a lot of experience in working with the police and building programs. Can you talk about how you'll use your past experience in your new role as a representative for the 4th District? Sure. I mean, I think there's two levels of that. One is on Capitol Hill. I think there are certainly changes legislatively that need to happen. Banning ghost guns didn't get included in the, in the gun package that went through in the last Congress. We should have that now. An assault weapons ban, I think, would be a good part of that as well. And I think at the local level and the state level, we need to make sure that prosecutors are doing, well, and the courts too, what they can to not only prosecute people who are using guns in violent offenses, but to try and get ahead of that curve with intervention and prevention programs. I know that we have violence disruptors that, are, that they're trying to have um, uh, get involved in the communities to make sure that they can preempt some of this as well. But I think we have to do more than, than we've been doing, and federal funding will help with that to, uh, for, for crime prevention as well as for crime prosecution and, and punishment. 